All right. Hello, everybody. CryptoVin here, CryptoVin YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Going to be doing a follow up uh, video, a quick video on Humble Cats. Uh, you may or may not have heard Humble Cats and Clever have separated, gone their separate ways. There's been a lot of accusations. And uh, of course, the infamous scam word, uh, infamous to crypto, has been thrown around. So uh, I'm on Humble Cats uh, Twitter feed here. Uh, what they're saying is that uh, what to do if you have NFTs and that collection is leaving the chain you brought you bought on. So uh, full disclosure, I do own a couple of uh, Humble Cat NFTs. Not as many as some people for sure, uh, but I do own a couple, so I want to keep an eye on this. <clears throat> he says, let's talk about it. First and foremost, I would support it. Why? But I bought on this chain. That's the only reason I bought it. There's a thing called convert. There are tons of decks and, and central exchanges that enable you to convert from one coin to another. Uh, wow, imagine that. It's crypto. The space will continue to evolve and projects will continue to adapt or they will suffer. And to those calling projects scams because they're moving uh, blockchain, your ignorance is showing. There's a reason why your emotions are all over the place. You're nave to the space. Do better people. So, I mean, I did respond to this uh, comment. Um, you have to realize, guys, uh, there's a lot of people out there that maybe they don't know how crypto works too well. Uh, they're investing in it and uh, they're just out of ignorance calling project scams uh, when they're not scams. Um, so, in this case, uh, for NFTs, you you know he's he's leaving the clever blockchain uh and i'll and i'll use love monster for an example uh so love monster left clever chain as well you know for whatever reasons i'm not going to get into it right now um uh, but uh, what you may or may not think uh the fact is is that um you know i did have some love monster nfts so what happened so over a period of time uh it came about if you're following on Love Monster Discord, uh, they gave you a. I'm going to make this kind of a condensed version of what happened. They gave you a, a burn address. Um, they they had you set up an AVAX Avalanche wallet address, and with that they gave you a burn address to send your NFT, your Love Monster NFTs to from Clever Chain. Uh, if you had any questions, they were quick to answer. They had, do have a support ticket system. I used it a couple of times myself and just to be clear on what to do. So anyway, in, in a nutshell, I sent my NFTs over to the burn address. Um, I did have to email them my uh, Avalanche address, I believe, or may have been my Clever Chain address. I'm not, even, I'm not too sure, but uh, in any instance, I uh, emailed them. Um, and stated what NFTs I had burned, and uh, they uh, deposited the uh, corresponding NFTs into my Avalanche uh, wallet address. Uh, so um, I, you can see those NFTs on nfttrade.com, uh, and also I do believe they have their own um, NFT marketplace up as well. Uh, but anyway, talk getting back to humble cats there's no reason why they can't do the same thing it looks like uh i'll scroll down here from what they're saying is that uh if you don't have a, a salon address or a wallet you better get one um so i'm leading to believe that uh they're going to be transferring their nfts over to solana uh so we'll see what happens with that <clears throat> But uh, getting back to the scam word, um, you know, many people call Love Monster scam. It's not a scam, in my opinion. Um, they're developing the project, and this is what happens when you don't understand crypto, um, or maybe you just want to sabotage the project. I don't know, but um, you kind of have to um, think about these things and let things evolve and, and watch and. Learn about crypto before you're making uh, rash judgments and uh, before you're going to give your NFTs away to somebody else uh, because uh, right now uh, Love Monster 
is not uh, going away. It's it's developing. Um, so if you made a rash decision based on ignorance or your, you know, ignorance may be a harsh word, but um, it might be your, maybe you don't understand or know or, or crypto too well and you made a rash decision. Uh, I, I implore you to hold off, ask questions, watch, and, you know, watch what the project's going to do. Um, so anyway, uh, Humble Cats looks like they're going to be transferring their NFTs over to Solana. Um, I hope this uh, goes successfully uh, for all the people out there that have uh, spent a lot of money on these NFTs, especially. So we'll, ha we'll see what happens. I'll keep an eye on it, do some follow-up videos if need be. But uh, I just wanted to make this video uh, just to, you know, more or less, uh, you know, show people that, uh, you know, just because they're leaving Clever Chain doesn't mean the project's a scam. But anyway, what do you think, guys? Let me know what you think about this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content, please uh, give me a subscribe. I'm at 733 followers, so uh, trying to get to that thousand mark uh, to get monetized would be much appreciated. And let me know if you want to do uh, want me to do another video on something else. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.